Hey there, Apex fans. In this video, we're going to be doing a comparison between the Cloud9 and the Bikeroo. The cru both cruiser style seats, they're both about the same size. They're definitely different weights. The Cloud9 is a lot heavier, but we're just going to go ahead and do a little quick comparison side by side. They're both two of the most popular seats that are sold for almost any e-bike now. So that's why I've been wanting to try both seats out and I finally got my hands on a Bikeroo and we'll let you know how they go. Okay, so we have these two seats side by side now, both on uh, Zoom suspension seat posts. I took some measurements, some weights. So basically, when I actually measured it using a actual ruler and a, uh, a flat surface to figure out, make sure that I'm getting the right ones, the Bikeru seat definitely is almost exactly one inch shorter. And when riding both of these at the same time, I did find that the actual shortness made a big difference in actually the way I ride because I usually like to have full leg extension, which means when I come to a stop, I will actually move off the seat toward the front. And with an extra inch shorter, it then allows me to not have to go so far forward where the seat's not against the back of my, my back. So I, I found that more comfortable. Let's go ahead and talk about the softness of the seat so most people try to gauge it on. And to be honest, you'll feel, I, I totally feel as though the Cloud9 feels softer when you actually feel it by hand. The thing is, the Bikeroo seat is also pretty soft too. It's a little more stiff when I use my hand as far as feeling the tension. Now it is newer as well. That could be also the other reason. But really, once I get my positioning on the seat itself, I, I can't tell the difference. They really just feel the same as far as the softness on my sitting. So I don't have a comparison of one over the other, which would feel softer in that way. That's not my personal opinion. I guess everybody's gonna feel a little different, but that's the first thing I, I totally feel. The other thing I noticed is the weight difference is significant. There is almost a, a pound difference between these two. So with the posts on, and these two posts weigh exactly the same, even though they're different colors, And but um, it's not, you might not think a pound is a big deal, especially with an electric bike, because a lot of times the, the bike is carrying most of the the weight when you're riding, but it actually does make a big difference when you add up all the little weight differences that are coming on here. And I can feel it when I'm just holding these two. What, what kind of difference do you get? Well, with like a seat like this, also with the same type, I, made, I weighed this, this was only 2.4. So a lot of times, if I'm doing for a quick ride, I will just swap and put this one in if it's gonna be short distance. It's not nearly as wide. This is about the same width as the, the electric stock like that stock bike seat that it comes with which is wide enough so it's comfortable enough and but the weight of it makes a big difference especially when i need to move the bike around if i run to the post office there's a place that i park my bike that i actually need to kind of lift and and move it around and this weight difference uh, it's a whole extra two pounds off of it makes a big difference as well anything for longer rides after like maybe if i'm going to be going out for you know half an hour hour ride or something i would definitely use one of these two instead and i think more so my seat of preference would probably be the Bikeroo. The other thing is if I'm going to be stopping somewhere where I'm going to be leaving my bike out for a long time, like say uh, if I go to work and uh, or if it's going to be out um, potentially stopped somewhere where I'm going to be leaving the bike, having the seat cover that the Bikeroo comes with is a benefit as well when that part all comes in. I wanted to make sure that I found out every positive and negative so I did a lot of research on the internet and I did find uh, one person, he did say that he noticed that when he got his Bikeroo seat he loved it and then he found that after about 1,500 miles of riding, which is a lot of riding, uh, the Bikeroo seat and it started tearing in the front. And then so he ended up saying he wanted to try Cloud9. He got one of these. And then he rode another 1,500 miles before updating. And he said that this lasted longer, didn't have any issues with it, no tearing after 1,500. So I don't know to, how much weight to put on that. They both feel as though they're pretty decent quality on there. The, the fact they both almost feel like the same. This might feel a little thicker, but Cloud9 definitely has a little more weight to it, so I'm gonna get some of the parts maybe even, um, maybe a little better, I'm not totally sure on that. Uh, the other part is, I guess, the springs that come with both of these. I honestly don't really feel the difference between the springs, because even trying one of these with this one, and where you can even see the springs going on it, it's really the suspension seat post that eats up most of the, the absorption of it. So. If you're going to be getting something to more, get a more comfortable ride, I highly recommend getting a suspension seat post and a, a softer seat or a wider seat. You know, most seats are the first thing that are always replaced. Something like this, 
a less expensive seat works fine for me. I mean, like I said, I don't have a problem with it. But then again, I never really had a big problem with the electric XP seat that came with stock with the bike. Because like I said, it's almost the same with here. Um, just this is just a little softer. I thought the springs would make a big difference. It doesn't really make a big difference to me on that way. But the biggest uh, factor that makes the ride softer is definitely the suspension seat post. Talking about the prices of these two, the Cloud 9 runs between $27 and $65. Now, it's a big difference. They have different styles, but this particular seat, I got as low as $25.97 on Prime Day on Amazon. So it does go down as low as $26. Um, today, when I was looking at it, it was now $55 on the web. So on Amazon, they run out a lot. And that's one of the reasons why they can demand higher prices. Also with supply chain issues with bike parts, these are going to get even harder to get. Now, the Bikeroo was a good alternative. There's a lot of dis comparisons as far as people saying the Bikeroo is a better seat, the Cloud9 is a better seat. This one actually ran from 25 to 53. I got it as a gift. I have the bike, other bikes coming in, so this is going to be probably a primary seat for another secondary bike that I have coming soon. It runs between 25 to 53 dollars, and it comes with the cover. It comes also with the tool. You can get up and running without having to go buy one. It also comes with a multi-tool wrench on that. Now, one thing I want to mention about this here as well on this seat, you will sometimes see two versions of it. There is an indoor and an outdoor bikeroo seat, so you want to make sure that you're getting the one with the springs because this is the outdoor version. So just know that's what these two are, the Cloud9 versus the, the Bikeroo. Both have good and um, positive and negatives to them. The weight is one, the front end, the front end, the distance is another. Quality, you know, Cloud9 may be a better quality based on some of the reviews I've been reading. They both are running at about four and a half stars. So. You know, it's a kind of a toss up as far as what people are saying. I say do your due diligence, but again, both seats actually are hard to come by. They actually do run out quite often. I couldn't get a bike roof seat the first time I was looking around, which is why I ended up with a Cloud 9. And then of course, Prime Day came around and it was on sale. So if you get those opportunities, look for coupons on Amazon, look for the opportunity to get them on deals. That pretty much will conclude this version of the update for the Bike Roo versus Cloud9 seat. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so below. Uh, if you like this review or if you don't, please comment below. Let me know what your thoughts. If you have a Cloud9 or if you've compared them yourself, I'd love to hear or other the comments below. People love reading these type of things to get more of a different perspective as well. And uh, please subscribe as well. That helps the channel out. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video.